Hello, my name is Lucas Harris. I'm a physical scientist here at the Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory, and I'm going to talk about one of the models that I developed called Sea Shield for weather prediction. Sea Shield is a continental system for high resolution prediction on Earth to local domains. And it is a computer weather model that we've developed, which allows us to predict individual severe thunderstorms over the United States on time scales from a few hours out to five days. And this could potentially give a great amount of information, uh, not just to forecasters, but to stakeholders. One of the biggest things that has improved air safety over the last half century is a better understanding about how small-scale downbursts have caused crashes in the past, and so flights are delayed to avoid those. And you can start to do experiments of like, how can we expect severe weather to change under global warming? And the answer may be not what you expect. The same storms that cause tornadoes, they bring a lot of rain to the central United States. And what happens if the rains no longer come? That area could potentially become a desert again. And that's a rather shocking possibility that we would need to plan for. Just the idea that our weather here depends on weather systems might be located hundreds or thousands of miles away kind of gives me this almost cosmic unity about human society. The other big thing is I always liked all the beautiful maps that were used to display all this weather data. Sea Shield is just part of a much larger modeling enterprise within NOAA. Right now, Sea Shield is just an experimental model, and one of the next steps would be to begin to blend this information to get a better understanding of the atmosphere. So like individual cumulus clouds, you can't predict those any more than a few minutes in advance. But the effects of a large number of cumulus clouds, those actually have very well understood effects on the atmosphere. The third thing in the future for a model like Sea Shield is to go out to longer time ranges. Can we predict severe weather outbreaks on monthly timescales. And we have some preliminary research that shows that this may be the case for some geographical areas. This is something that is within our grasp right now, in my belief. It's just waiting for a big enough computer.